Thank you everyone for your patience. If we could, um, I'd like to call a meeting of the Human Services Committee to order. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could the clerk take the roll, please? Commissioner McConnell. Here. Commissioner Baldwin. Commissioner Bohm. Commissioner Dunn. Here. Commissioner Rushing. Here. Commissioner Vandenbosch. Here. Commissioner Beaton. Present. Are there any additions, deletions, or changes to the agenda? Make a motion to accept the agenda as presented. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, are there any citizens wishing to be heard tonight? Moving on. Any updates? Any conceptual initiatives? Nope. No old business, so moving into new business. Item A, contract renewal approval request for a stat courier service. Make a motion to send it to full board. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Item B, resolution 2210, placing proposed St. Clair County Library System millage on the ballot. I'd make the motion to send it to the full board. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item C, St. Clair County Library System 2022 closings request. Make a motion to send that to the full board. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Are there any other human services matters this evening? Uh, we did receive in our packets um, information only the health department points of interest. Make a motion to receive and file. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I and make a motion to receive and file. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We need, we need a motion to adjourn? Yeah. yeah. So moved. No, we did that. No. No, we, we did. We did, did receive, receive a file. A file. Oh. Support. I'm rusty. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, motion to adjourn. Support. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. I'll get better. <laughs> Spring. Okay, we will call the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee meeting to order. Roll call, please. Commissioner Baldwin, Commissioner Beaton. Present. Commissioner Bohm, Commissioner Dunn. Here. Commissioner Rushing. Here. Commissioner Vandenbosch? Here. Commissioner McConnell? Here. Thank you. I see no additions, so if we could get a motion to accept the agenda as presented. So moved. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Are there any citizens wishing to be heard tonight? Seeing none. Um, any updates? Seeing none. Conceptual initiatives? We have no old business. Before us tonight, new business. Um, 7A Resolution 2211, placing the proposed St. Clair County Ambulance Service Millage on the ballot. So Make moved. Motion to send it to the full board. Do support. Okay, so we have motion and support. We, we don't need to do these for final action yet. We have a couple days after our meeting or? There is time after the full board meeting to still make the ballot deadline. Okay. All right, any uh, questions? Yes, Jason? definitely. Um, I wanna know what kind of funding breaking down, so what that's gonna generate if the millage goes through and gets approved by the residents, if this goes through the full board and it does get put on the ballot, what kind of money is gonna be generated? Three million, yeah, three, it, it's it, in there. It, it is part of the, the, the language. It's right in the language, it's three million, yep. I don't know. 300,000. 336,000. Sometimes I ask that so the public will get that also. So sometimes okay. I read it. I do have questions for- uh, For Ken? Yes, Ken and uh, Jeff, if they have it. Because I think both of you serve my townships, my six townships. How is that going to affect the funding for the volunteer fire departments? Good evening, commissioners. Um, my understanding is this would have no impact on funding for fire departments. Uh, the language, as it's written right now, uh, this is specifically for ambulance service, and ambulance service really defined in, in Michigan statute is for agencies that transport uh, fire departments in, in our county with the exception of the city of Marysville. 
um, does not, they do not transport. So they would not be uh, involved in this funding at all. Marysville, however, would because they do operate an ambulance service. Part of my question is because when I was township supervisor in Riley, uh, one of the townships out there that I now represent wanted to eliminate all the EMS from the fire department or EMT to come out and make calls. And they also proposed that for Riley Township. And as supervisor, when I was there, I said, no, I want 10 trucks there. You're going to pay for it. If my wife needs somebody. I want 10 trucks there, not to try to save a couple of pennies because if right. your ambulance is someplace else, I want the first and the fastest I can get there for the residents that I support. So I would do the same thing for all of District 6 if I was put to, that question was put to me. Uh, like the city of Memphis, uh, they wouldn't get any funding of this at all, but potentially maybe they would, uh, and I can talk to Al Titus on that, but potentially would their funding or cost go down to the Memphis or Emmett? You know, I, I, Jeff serves the Memphis area. I mean, I could talk more, talk more globally um, since Tri Hospital does, I mean, we provide service to 26 of the, of the 31 municipalities in the county. So we're certainly the largest provider here in St. Clair County. Um, the, the, the language in the ballot, if approved by the voters, would, would not defer any funds to fire departments uh, as it sits right now. However, part of the, the intent behind receiving the additional funds um, is that as ambulance providers, we're seeing a significant increase in call volume. So demand for, for, for service is increasing. Revenues that are used to support ambulance services today are not increasing. And that means that we as providers are forced to add and deploy more resources out there. We cannot do that without additional funding. And so uh, a part of these funds will certainly go to, the, to adding, hopefully adding more resources out into the marketplace so that we can respond to some of those calls. Some of that may very well end up reducing some of the fire departments, need, the need for fire departments, but I, I couldn't tell you how much or, or what impact that would have. I, I, I don't have- If I could, and because I'm kind of being like an attorney here, I kind of know the answer to my question before I ask it. <laughs> but same thing with uh, the city of Memphis and the uh, Emmett, they're both fire departments that serve Riley. They have a set budget. I believe it's right out around $120,000 that the communities have to come up with that money. If they have zero runs or 150 runs, they still have pretty much the basic same cost. They gotta have the equipment and the personnel whether, so even if it eliminated some runs, I think the cost to the uh, Memphis Fire Department remained constant. Boy, if I could respond to that, because that is a great point, Commissioner. I glad, I'm glad you bring it. That, that's precisely why we're here tonight as ambulance companies. We have the same problem. It's, it's what we call the cost of readiness. We operate in this county right now, we do not receive any uh, government support whatsoever to operate ambulance service in St. Clair County. It is 100% fee for service based, which means if we're transporting patients, we're generating income. If we're not transporting patients, there is no income being generated by your ambulance providers right now. In, in, in ambulance service, we have what's called the cost of readiness. Right now, today, there's an ambulance sitting across the street waiting, staffed, equipped, ready to go upon a moment's notice. And I think that's what the public expects and demands, quite frankly, and they should. That's the way it should operate. The problem with it is we are not generating any revenue to help support the cost of that. And that's why one of the reasons why we're here asking for some assistance so that we can continue to keep those resources staffed, equipped, strategically located throughout the county so that upon a moment's notice, we have that resource available to a citizen when they need it. And I talked to Jeff, because I he sure. <laughs> lives in Riley, so I talked to him more, but- I'll uh, share the podium with Jeff. Initially, initially, I wasn't sure where I'd go on this, but I definitely support it, and I would support it. Uh, and same thing with the firefighters, but you have additional costs now for the requirements of the training for your EMT. It isn't like it was 15, 20 years ago, they have to be more trained than they were before. Yeah, and, and you know, to be real honest with you, and, I, and I, I don't wanna repeat what I did, I was here back in October, gave a presentation to the board, uh, kind of outlining the reasons behind this to, to, to help uh, justify why. But, you know, we are, we like every other employer in really probably the country, but certainly in Michigan, are facing extreme staffing shortages right now. Uh, we are coming out of a pandemic uh, our personnel are tired. I, I don't think I, 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 I think I can speak for Jeff as well. We, we are all seeing shortfalls in personnel. 
for us to, to fill that gap, we have got to create positions in EMS that are attractive, that people want to pursue for careers, but, but when we get them interested in those positions, we have to have the training programs available to train them. EMS personnel have to be licensed. It is a regulated industry. We cannot hire people off the street like Walmart or Home Depot or some of those organizations can. All of our people must be licensed. They have to meet a very specific set of criteria before we can even employ them and put them on an ambulance. And there is not an abundance of those out there. Right now in Michigan, it's estimated there are over a thousand EMS vacancies across the state of Michigan right now. So we are hurting big time. And so again, part of the funds, if approved by the voters, will go towards beefing up our training and education programs. I would just say one thing that really caught this community by surprise was we had, we had partnered with the community college for a number of years to do EMS training for us. We as an organization got out of the training program because the college had stepped up to do it. However, in uh, July of 2020, I was notified by the college that they were getting out of it and they were done. So it kind of left us high and dry. And so we have had to, to, to struggle to try and uh, partner with agencies or training programs outside of St. Clair County, which becomes a real challenge for us to have our people commute back and forth uh, uh, to neighboring counties to get their training. So we need to bring that training in-house back to our county, and that's what we're committed to do uh, with these funds uh, if, if approved by the voters. I'm good. Joe. Uh, Ken, I spoke with uh, Chief uh, Giroux before the meeting about the city of Marysville. Obviously, they have their own EMS service. Right. And he said they will receive an annual check for $199,000. Yeah, as... Right. as I'm sorry. No, I'm just checking with So you. the the way it's going to work is if this if this millage is passed, every municipality that collects tax is going to collect their portion or receive their portion and then they would in turn pay it back to the provider of their choice. Oh, correct. The county is not going to hire Tri Hospital. Right. The county is not hiring Lennox, Richmond Lennox. So the so county's not going to hold that money. They're going to give it out. Right, yeah, it's just that, going to that's go correct. We'll distribute through. all of it. Okay. Very and, good. and Commissioner, if I could add to that, the reason, I think the reason for that is for as long as I've been in, in the ambulance business, which quite frankly is 44 years in this county, we have always contracted for ambulance services directly with the local municipality. We have never contracted with the county. So the ambulance contracts, the 26 uh, municipalities that I mentioned earlier that we provide service to, we are under contract with each of those municipalities to provide that service. And so it just sort of made sense that it, when the dollars are collected, it would go to those communities who are actually the ones that are contracting for those services. And in the case of Marysville and Richmond Lennox, they essentially are the provider for those municipalities in which they have contracts with her. Very good, thank you. That's all I have. All right, does anybody else have anything? I just wanted to explain too, a lot of these lift assists that Tri goes to, they're not billable for, Correct. so they're, they, we can't, they can't get any income out of that. And there's a large number of calls we, both fire and EMS go on that are non-billable for Tri. Yeah. And but those numbers are going up steadily. One of the, one of the things that um, I, I looked at as a part of this, and, and just for your ben benefit, in the last 10 years, we have seen an increase in requests for ambulance services go up 38%. Um, many of those, as, as uh, Commissioner Vanabosch said, are, are calls in which we don't generate any, any revenue whatsoever. The resources are avail available, they're allocated, they respond, but there's no revenue coming in to support them. And so that's why we're having a shortfall right now um, in, in the ability to function as uh, providers. Um, you know, EMS, I think most people, if you were to ask them today, uh, believe that ambulance service is an essential service. It's something they expect to be available when they dial 911. And um, these funds are absolutely critical for us to ensure that those services are going to continue to be available moving forward. And they're also a backstop for our fire and police because they do stand by right. for every major incident we have. And a lot of times, Ken has to call in overtime to backfill that. And uh, without them being there, I know we wouldn't be as safe doing our jobs in the fire or police services. Anybody else have any other questions? 
Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, are there any other, judici other judiciary public safety matters? Motion to receive and file. So moved. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Well, you got a limp a little bit. I know. Uh, good evening. I'd like to call the St. Croix County Board of Commissioners Environmental Public Works Committee to order. Could I have a roll call, please? Commissioner McConnell? Present. Commissioner Baldwin? Commissioner Beaton? Present. Commissioner Bohm? Commissioner Rushing? Here. Commissioner Vandenbosch? Here. Commissioner Dunn? Here. Item number two, addition, deletion, changes to the agenda, seeing none. I'd make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Support. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Any citizens to be heard tonight? Seeing none, any updates from commissioners? Moving on, any conceptual initiatives mm -hmm. on this evening? No old business, we'll move into new business. Um, St. Clair County Board of, uh, Road Commissioner's annual report. Mr. Weston is here with his Full entourage tonight. So. I would make a motion to bring this. Okay. Forward. All right. Support. Good evening. Uh, thanks for having us tonight. Um, the only thing I want to do tonight, you've got a packet there. That's our annual report that we'll submit to you. It won't take a lot of time on that. But one of the reasons we're here tonight uh, for introductions, we have Bill Bloomerick in the uh, audience, which is the chair of the Road Commission. Uh, Greg Owens, which is internal services, but we have some new faces out here. Been with the Road Commission for a number of years, but I'll be retiring in August, and uh, we have replacements here tonight. And I wanted more to introduce you to those folks than anything else. We have Tammy Holzberger, that is our interim uh, deputy director at this time, and was our CPA, or still our CPA. And Bill Hazelton will be our director of... Uh, or managing director, so taking my spot in the future. I've got a cold <laughs> and I'm struggling here, so that's why I'm not doing a presentation. So um, the, the the part here is I think the road commission is going to be in very, very good hands. Uh, we worked hard on the behalf of the, the uh, residents of Sinclair County over the years. I appreciate this board, the road board that was put in place, and we've been able to do some great things, but... Uh, with Bill's ex expertise, his background, along with Tammy's, uh, I feel we're going to be in great shape. So um, as far as the <coughs> presentation goes, a lot of it's there, similar to what we've done in back in past years. It was unique, like we all know, with COVID, different things like that. Uh, we commend the employees for being there for us. Uh, didn't miss any time where we did have some cases, things like that, but very minimal. And uh, with the work uh, with the with the board and the employees, I think we did okay with that. So that being said, instead of struggling through here, I'll let you go. And uh, thank you very much. Anybody got anything for uh, Mr. Weston tonight? Just when you thank feel you. better, I'm sure you'll be back. And uh, of course, thank you. And before August, we'll be talking to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, you, it's been it's been great to be able to call when we have a problem. Um, and <laughs> what's the best way to say this? Pawn it off on somebody else. <laughs> but it's nice when you call somebody and, and you get, get a response. Um, and, and everybody's been very good at, at the Road Commission. So that's been, that's been helpful. Yeah, we appreciate that. We feel we'll be able to continue to do that, or these folks will be able to do that along with the employees they have and the foreman that they use. And just everyone there is a team player. So we're proud of all those employees. So. Mr. Hazelton's going to be on speed dial too, isn't he? Yeah, that's, a, yep, that's right. I've already got him on so, there. So. This is the already is. <laughs> yeah. i just like to say, Kurt, thanks for everything you've done in this position, the team you've built, the people around you. I've got some experience with everybody here, and I I've thoroughly feel they're being left in good hands. So. Yeah, certainly. No, that operation is a fine-tuned machine, and I appreciate uh, what you guys have done. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Contract approval request for Raymond excavating for final action for the work at the uh, Goodles Park. Goodles Park, yes. 
I'll make a motion oh, for to approve it. Final action. Uh, support. Um, Do I, we have Nancy with Sean here? We have uh, uh, Brad oh, okay. in attendance tonight. If Could anybody's you got give any us pressure? the two minutes spiel on it. Yes, sir. Start the time. Because it's a good chunk of money. I think the public should hear what the money's being spent on. Good evening. My name is Brad Brensky. I'm the Deputy Director of Projects for St. Clair County Parks. And uh, tonight we're talking about our new playground that's going in out at Goodles County Park. Now, the one we currently have in out there is 22 years old, so it's a bit outdated. And we're looking, uh, and the older they get, the more safety hazards start to come along with it. And we've been maintaining them very well throughout our, our system. Uh, but this one's old and we're, we need to update it. And we're looking at a uh, farm-themed playground that will tie it in nicely with the, the barns and the farm area uh, with the farm museum being there. And uh, really nice pieces that are all set to come. Um, we're looking at, um, we just heard that our uh, playground equipment should be on site by mid-June. And we're hoping to have everything placed by fair so it, that's uh, quite an aggressive schedule and we're going to set up our pre-con with our contractor at the end of the month so we can get everything lined up and ready to go thank you any other questions from red I, if it's farm why, why why aren't we using barbed wire fence instead of that expensive plastic stuff <laughs> <laughs> have to be like, that's well, the biggest cost of that project. that might help keep the uh, kids off it right right well yeah. um you know it, it's neat it's it's some people wonder why we have fences around the playgrounds um, it helps with public safety and channelizing the the kids and more importantly it helps prevent from like snatch and grabs uh, for existence when we have our county fair going on we uh, we have an ex uh, a barricade fence we put around the splash pad because there's just so many people out there that we want to keep from having that uh, unexplainable of that happening. So we have that out there for the safety. Part of the, if I could, part of the cost of this, why it's expensive, and we had the thing when I was township supervisor in Riley, one of the slides was a quarter inch off and we had to get that repaired. We had to close the slide down or the playground down because it didn't pass inspection and a kid's foot could get caught in there. I mean, it was that big, but it was a quarter inch off acceptable and, we had to close playground down until we got that fixed. Oh, yes, and that's why we require a certified playground installer to be present when this is going in. Any other questions? Uh, this contract is in the amount of $345,000. Um, I will be abstaining from the vote. Do we need a motion for that? or We have motion, but we need roll. No, he needs a motion to allow him to, to abstain. abstain. Oh, I would make a motion that he abstain. Support. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, could I have a roll call, please? Commissioner McConnell? Yes. Commissioner Beaton? Yes. Commissioner Rushing? Yes. Commissioner Vandenbosch? Yes. Motion carries. Oro. Uh, item C, resolution 22-09, authorizing SEMCOG as a collective designated planning agency and authorizing the application of the materials management grant. Make a motion, send it to full board. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item eight, the Smith Creek Landfill Activities Report. Motion to receive and file. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Any other environmental public works matters? Um, item 10 is information only for the monthly parks and recs financial documents. Motion to receive and file. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item 11, receive and file. Make a motion to receive and file. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Item 12, adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meeting adjourned. This time I'd like to call the Ways and Means Committee to order. Roll call, please. Commissioner McConnell? Here. Commissioner Baldwin, Commissioner Beaton? Present. Commissioner Bohm, Commissioner Dunn? Here. Commissioner Vandenbosch? Here. Commissioner Rushing? Here. Item two, I see we have an addition. Uh, I need to have that moved to 7F. Somebody would make that motion. I would make a motion to move uh, item 2A to item 7F. Support. 
for final action. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 And I now have a motion to accept the amended agenda. So moved. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. This time, do we have any citizens wishing to be heard? Seeing none, do we have any updates? None. No conceptual initiatives, no old business. We'll move on to 7A, change to the 2022 budget, Public Guardian's Office. I move this be sent to the full board. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. Uh, 7B, this prosecuting attorney's office manning table, uh, apparently he can make it for the 21st meeting, but so I need a motion to send this to the full board. Motion to send to full board. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. 7C is for final action. This is the foreclosure mowing agreement with Kevin's lawn care and snow removal. I would make a motion that we approve Kevin's lawn care and snow removal. I'll support that. Foreclosure mowing agreement. Any discussion? It's not that much money, but we need a roll call, correct? Yes. If you would, please. Commissioner McConnell? Yes. Commissioner Beaton? Yes. Commissioner Dunn? Here, yes. Commissioner Vandenbosch? Yes. Commissioner Rushing? Yes. Uh, moving on to 7D. Uh, Commissioner Vandenbosch, District 7 ARPA, or American Rescue Plan Project Generator. I would make a motion to send to the full board. I would support that. Any discussion? You feel like it may be at the full board? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll be doing better than okay. that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. 7 8. If we could have a motion for the warning sirens. Make a motion. Send Support. The board. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. Uh, moving on to 7 F. Uh, resolution 2212, authorizing signatory, administrator, controller, and deputy administrator for final action. So moved. Support. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. This time, do we have any other ways and means matters? Seeing none, information only. Motion to receive and file packets. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We stand adjourned.